हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व मोर एग्जांपल्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशोज एंड रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशोज ओके सो हियर फर्स्ट एग्जांपल इज इफ साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर अपॉन ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर फाइंड द वैल्यूज ऑफ अदर फाइव ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशोज ओके सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू ड्रॉ ट्राइंगल दैट इज अ राइट ट्राइंगल ओके so here this is a b c right angle at b suppose this angle is a theta so what is given here sin theta is equal to a square minus b square upon a square plus b square okay so sin theta that is uh, we know that sin theta is equal to opposite side so if angle is theta opposite side is ab so ab divided by hypotenuse is ac so ab divided by ac and value of sin theta is given a square minus b square upon a square plus b square is equal to ab by ac so ab value is a square minus b square ac that is hypotenuse a square plus b square okay so by pythagoras theorem first find value of bc okay so in triangle abc Angle B is equal to 90 degree. Therefore, by Pythagoras theorem, so by Pythagoras theorem here, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So AC square is AC is A square plus B square bracket square. AB square AB is A square minus B square bracket square plus B C square. Okay, so if we expand this, this is A raised to four plus B raised to four plus two A square B square is equal to A raised to four plus B raised to four minus two A square B square plus B C square. Okay, so here A raised to four this cancel, B raised to four again cancel, two A square B square. And this minus two a square b square. If we shift here, that is a four a square b square is equal to b c square. So b c is equal to two a b. Okay. So if b c is equal to two a b, now we can find other five trigonometric ratios. So sine theta already given, cos theta. so cos theta is equal to adjacent side upon hypotenuse that is a bc upon ac so bc is equal to 2ab upon ac that is a a square plus b square okay tan theta that is opposite side by adjacent side so a square minus b square or first write this ab by bc so a square minus b square upon 2ab okay cot theta that is adjacent side upon opposite side so bc upon ab or you can take reciprocal of this that is 2ab by a square minus b square and cosec theta and sec theta so cosec theta that is reciprocal of sin theta or by definition that is hypotenuse by opposite side so ac by ab so a square plus b square upon a square minus b square and sec theta that is equal to sec theta is reciprocal of cos theta or by using definition if we write this this is a hypotenuse by adjacent side so ac by bc so ac is a square plus b square and bc is 2ab okay so this is other five trigonometric ratios now we will take second example okay the second example is if sin a is equal to 1 by 3 evaluate cos a into cos a plus tan a into sec a okay so first draw right triangle okay a b c 
okay sin a is given 1 by 3 so sin a means here this is angle a so opposite side bc upon ac okay so sin a is equal to 1 by 3 sin a value is opposite side divided by hypotenuse so bc by ac is equal to 1 by 3 so bc is 1 ac is 3 by pythagoras theorem we can find ab and then we have to find value of this cos a cos a k tan a and sec a and you have to put value there so first in triangle abc angle b is equal to 90 degree therefore by pythagoras theorem AC square is equal to BC square plus AB square. Okay, so AC square is that is a 3 square BC square 1 square plus AB square. So 9 is equal to 1 plus AB square. So AB square is equal to 9 minus 1 that is a 8. So AB is equal to that is a 4 to 0 so 2 root 2 so a b is equal to 2 root 2 okay now we have to find this values okay first value we have to find that is a cos a so cos a is equal to adjacent side upon hypotenuse so a b by a c so cos a a b is 2 root 2 upon ac is 3 so cos a is equal to 2 root 2 upon 3 next one cos a k cos a k is equal to hypotenuse by opposite side so hypotenuse is ac upon opposite side is bc so hypotenuse is 3 opposite side 1 so cos a k is equal to 3 by 1 that is a 3 next tan a so tan a is equal to opposite side by adjacent side so opposite side is bc upon ab bc is equal to 1 ab is equal to 2 root 2 so tan a is equal to 1 upon 2 root 2 and last one is sec a so sec a is equal to sec means hypotenuse by adjacent side so ac by ab that is a 3 upon 2 root 2 so sec a is equal to 3 upon 2 root 2 okay now we have to find the value of this so cos a into cosec a plus tan a into sec a now if we put value of this cos a that is a 2 root 2 upon 3 into cos a k 3 by 1 that is a 3 plus tan a 1 upon 2 root 2 and into sec a that is a 3 upon 2 root 2 so if we simplify this 2 root 2 this 3 will get cancelled so 2 root 2 plus 3 upon this we will get 8 so if we make same denominator 16 root 2 plus 3 upon 8 so value of this that is a 16 root 2 plus 3 upon 8 okay now we will take third example okay third example is if tan a is equal to root 2 minus 1 show that sin a into cos a is equal to root 2 upon 4 okay so first same procedure first we have to draw triangle right triangle that is a a b c okay this is angle a tan a given root 2 minus 1 so tan a is equal to root 2 minus 1 now here denominator is not there so if denominator is not there we have to take as a 1 okay and tan a so by a definition of tan a tan a means 
अपोजिट साइड अपॉन एडजेसेंट साइड सो बी सी अपॉन ए बी दैट इज इक्वल टू रूट टू माइनस वन अपॉन वन सो बी सी रूट टू माइनस वन एंड ए बी वी हैव टेक एज अ वन एंड बाय पाइथागोरस थेरम फाइंड हाइपोटेनियस ए सी ओके सो इन ट्रैंगल ए बी सी एंगल बी इज इक्वल टू नाइंटी डिग्री देर फोर बाय पाइथागोरस थेरम एंग ए सी ए सी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए बी स्क्वायर प्लस बी सी स्क्वायर ओके नाउ ए सी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए बी स्क्वायर ए बी इज वन सो वन स्क्वायर प्लस बी सी स्क्वायर दैट इज अ रूट टू माइनस वन ब्रैकेट स्क्वायर सो वन स्क्वायर इज वन प्लस इफ यू एक्सपांड दिस रूट टू स्क्वायर प्लस वन स्क्वायर सो ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए बी ओके सो इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई दिस वन प्लस टू रूट टू स्क्वायर इज टू प्लस दिस वन माइनस टू रूट टू दैट इज अ वन प्लस टू थ्री प्लस वन दैट इज अ फोर माइनस टू रूट टू ओके सो ए सी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू फोर माइनस टू रूट टू ए सी इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर माइनस टू रूट टू ओके सो दिस इज अ फोर माइनस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर माइनस टू रूट टू ओके नाउ वी हैव टू शो दैट साइन ए इन टू कॉस ए इज इक्वल टू रूट टू बाय फोर सो फर्स्ट फाइंड वैल्यू ऑफ साइन ए सो साइन ए इज इक्वल टू साइन ए मीन्स हाइपोटेनियस बाय अपोजिट साइड दैट इज अ ए सी बाय बी सी सो ए सी इज स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर माइनस टू रूट टू सॉरी ओके फर्स्ट यू टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ साइन ए साइन ए मीन्स अपोजिट साइड इट इज अ बी सी अपॉन ए सी हाइपोटेनियस सो बी सी इज रूट टू माइनस वन अपॉन हाइपोटेनियस इज स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर माइनस टू रूट टू ओके सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ साइन ए एंड कॉस ए सो वैल्यू ऑफ कॉस ए इज एडजेसेंट साइड दैट इज अ ए बी अपॉन ए सी हाइपोटेनियस ए सी सो ए बी इज वन ए सी इज स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर माइनस टू रूट टू ओके ना वी हैव टू शो दैट मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस इज इक्वल टू रूट टू बाय फोर ओके सो इफ वी फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस साइन ए इन टू कॉस ए इज इक्वल टू नाउ साइन ए दैट इज अ रूट टू माइनस वन अपॉन स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर माइनस टू रूट टू इन टू कॉस ए वन अपॉन स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर माइनस टू रूट टू ओके सो हियर स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर माइनस टू रूट टू इन टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर माइनस टू रूट टू सो वी विल गेट दैट इज अ फोर माइनस टू रूट टू ओके देन इफ वी टेक टू कॉमन फ्रॉम दिस डिनोमिनेटर सो इफ यू टेक टू कॉमन दैट इज अ टू माइनस रूट टू ओके अगेन इफ यू टेक रूट टू कॉमन फ्रॉम डिनोमिनेटर देन वी विल हैव दैट इज अ रूट टू माइनस वन अपॉन टू रूट टू हियर रूट टू रिमेन माइनस वन ओके सो दिस रूट टू माइनस वन विल गेट कैंसल वन अपॉन टू रूट टू ना वी हैव टू शो दैट it is a root 2 by 4 so rationalize this so multiply by root 2 to numerator and denominator so if you multiply this root 2 divided by 2 root 2 into root 2 that is a 2 as it is root 2 into root 2 2 and 2 into 2 4 so sin a into cos a that is root 2 by 4 okay now we will take fourth example fourth example is if phi tan alpha is equal to 4 show that फाइव साइन अल्फा माइनस थ्री कॉस अल्फा डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव साइन अल्फा 
plus 2 cos alpha is equal to 1 by 6 okay so there are two methods to solve first one is regular method draw triangle okay so here okay i will show both methods so first one is here first draw this right triangle okay suppose this is a b c okay and this angle we have to suppose that alpha now here what is given phi tan alpha is equal to 4 so tan alpha is equal to 4 upon 5 this 5 we have to shift here so tan alpha is equal to 4 upon 5 means tan alpha we know that that is a opposite side a b divided by adjacent side b c so a b by b c is equal to 4 upon 5 so this is 4 this is 5 by pythagoras theorem find a c and then we can find value of sin alpha cos alpha put there simplify so we will get uh, rhs that is a 1 by 6 okay so if we find this in triangle a b c angle b is equal to 90 degree therefore by pythagoras theorem this is ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square okay so 4 square plus 5 square 4 square is 16 5 square is 25 so 16 plus 25 25 plus 10 35 plus 6 that is a 41 so ac square is equal to 41 ac is equal to root 41 so value of this is root 41 okay now find value of sin alpha and cos alpha so sin alpha is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse so ab by ac that is equal to 4 by root 41 cos alpha is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse so bc by ac is equal to phi upon root 41 okay now we have to find the value of this phi sin alpha minus 3 cos alpha upon phi sin alpha plus 2 cos alpha okay so phi into sin alpha value is 4 upon root 41 minus 3 into cos alpha is phi upon root 41 divided by phi sin alpha that is again 4 upon root 41 um, plus 2 cos alpha so 2 into cos alpha is phi upon root 41 okay so here 20 minus now denominator is same so 20 minus 15 upon root 41 divided by 20 plus 10 upon root 41 okay so this will get cancelled 20 minus 5 that is a sorry 20 minus 15 that is a 5 and 20 plus 10 that is a 30 so 5 by 30 that is a 1 by 6 so this is first method to show that this value is equal to 1 by 6 okay second method is there phi sin alpha minus 3 cos alpha upon phi sin alpha plus 2 cos alpha okay now we have value of tan alpha that is a 4 by 5 so if we divide numerator and denominator by cos alpha okay so if we divide this divide numerator and denominator by cos alpha okay so if we divide this phi sin alpha minus 3 cos alpha divided by cos alpha upon phi sin alpha plus 2 cos alpha divided by cos alpha okay now if we separate this denominator so phi sin alpha upon cos alpha 
माइनस कॉस अल्फा अपॉन कॉस अल्फा दैट विल गेट कैंसल ओके डिवाइडेड बाय सेम हियर फाइव साइन अल्फा अपॉन कॉस अल्फा प्लस टू कॉस अल्फा बाय कॉस अल्फा ओके नाउ हियर साइन अल्फा अपॉन कॉस अल्फा दैट इज अ टैन अल्फा ओके we know that this relation between trigonometric ratio sin theta divided by cos theta is equal to tan theta instead of theta here alpha is there so sin alpha by cos alpha that is a tan alpha minus cos alpha will get cancel so minus 3 here again same phi tan alpha plus this cos alpha will get cancel plus 2 now we have value of tan alpha that is a 4 by 5, so put here 5 into 4 by 5 minus 3, and 5 into 4 by 5 plus 2. So if we simplify this, this 5 will get cancelled. So what is remain? 4 minus 3 divided by here again 5 will get cancelled. What is remain? 4 plus 2. So 4 minus 3 that is a 1. 4 plus 2 is 6. So 1 by 6. So this is a second method so this is second method and this is a first method okay so second method is easier than easier than first method okay so use any method to solve this type of example okay now we will take next example okay next example is if tan theta plus 1 upon tan theta is equal to 2 find the value of tan square theta plus 1 upon tan square theta okay so here we have to use identity that is a tan theta plus 1 upon tan theta bracket square okay a plus b bracket square now a plus b bracket square that is a a square so tan square theta okay or we can write tan theta square okay plus b square that is a 1 upon tan theta Square plus two into a b. That is a two into tan theta into b is a one upon tan theta. So into one upon tan theta. Okay. Now tan square theta. Tan theta plus one upon tan theta. Value is given to. So here L H S. That is a two square tan square theta plus. Here one square is one divided by tan theta square. We can write that is a tan square theta plus this tan theta and this tan theta will get cancel. So what is remain? Only two. Now this two we have to shift here. So two square is a four minus this two is equal to tan square theta plus one upon tan square theta. Okay. So four minus two. That is a two. So we will get value of tan square theta plus one upon tan square theta is equal to two. Okay. Here this is the first method. Second method is what is given here? Tan theta plus. Now if we start from this, what is given? Tan theta plus one upon tan theta. Is equal to two. Okay. If we make this is second method. Huh? This is first method. Here, what is given? Tan theta plus one upon tan theta. That is a two. If we make same denominator, so tan square theta plus one upon tan theta is equal to two. If we shift this tan theta here. So tan square theta plus one is equal to two tan theta. If we shift two tan theta here, so we will have tan square theta plus one minus two tan theta is equal to one. Okay, sorry, is equal to zero. This two tan tan theta we have to shift here is equal to zero. So we have this tan square theta. If we shift two tan theta here. So we will have tan square theta plus one minus two tan theta is equal to zero. Now this is a square of tan theta minus one bracket square. Okay, 
because a minus b bracket square if we expand this we will get this one a square tan square theta b square plus 1 square minus 2 tan theta into 1 that is a 2 tan theta so this is the expansion of tan theta minus 1 bracket square is equal to 0 okay so if square of any number is 0 means this number is 0 that is a tan theta minus 1 is equal to 0 so that is means tan theta is equal to 1 so value of tan theta is equal to 1 means if we put this value here and here we will get value of tan square theta plus 1 upon tan square theta so tan square theta plus 1 upon tan square theta is equal to 1 square plus 1 upon 1 square that is a 1 plus 1 upon 1 that is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 so we will get same value by using any method so you can use any method to solve this one okay now we will take last example so sixth one example is if angle b and angle q are acute angles such that sin b is equal to sin q then prove that angle b is equal to angle q okay so we have to consider two right triangles so suppose first one is a c b this angle b is acute angle then another one is p r q right angle at r and this is angle q okay so these are two right triangles a c b and p r q okay so first we have to write consider two right triangles a c b and p r q okay consider two right triangles a c b and p r q okay now what is given sin b is equal to sin q so sin b is equal to sin q so sin b in this triangle sin b means opposite side upon hypotenuse so opposite side is ac upon hypotenuse is ab so ac by ab in this triangle sin q means pr by pq okay now if we shift this pr here and if we shift ab here we will get ac by pr is equal to ab by pq okay now this ratio we have to suppose that it is equal to k okay so ac by pr is equal to k so we will get value of ac that is a k into pr similarly ab by pq is equal to k so value of ab that is a k into pq okay so these two values we have now by pythagoras theorem in triangles acb and and triangle prq so by pythagoras theorem we have this ab square is equal to ac square plus bc square okay and here pq square is equal to pr square plus qr square okay so here value of bc square by using this bc square is equal to ab square minus ac square and value of qr square that is a pq square minus pr square okay now we have value of a b and ac okay so if we divide this if we find ratio of this bc square by qr square okay then it is a a b square minus ac square upon pq square minus pr square okay 
now a b square so value of a b is k into p q so a b square is k square p q square minus a c square value is k into p r that is a k square into p r square okay divided by p q square minus p r square okay if we take k square common we have p q square minus p r square divided by p q square minus p r square okay this will get cancelled so it is a k square b c square by q r square so if we take square root we will have b c by q r is equal to k now see here AC by PR is equal to K, AB by PQ is equal to K we have and we will get or we got here BC by QR also K. So we have here AC by PR is equal to AB by PQ is equal to BC by QR is equal to K. Okay. So this three sides corresponding sides are proportional to each other okay so these two triangles are similar by sss criteria okay so therefore triangle acb similar to triangle prq by sss criteria similarity criteria okay so if these two triangles are similar by SSS similarity criteria, we know that if triangles are similar, corresponding angles are equal. So here angle C is equal to angle R, angle A is equal to angle P and angle B is equal to angle Q. So therefore angle B is equal to angle Q. Okay. So first we have to find the value of BC and QR. Okay. That is a, by using this Pythagoras theorem, BC square is equal to AB square minus AC square, QR square is equal to PQ square minus PR square. Then take ratio and then put here value of AB and AC. Okay. So you will get BC by QR also K. So these ratios are same AC by PR, AB by PQ and BC by QR. Okay. So corresponding sides are in proportional. So corresponding sides are in proportion therefore these two triangles are similar by SSS criteria and if triangles are similar corresponding angles are equal okay so angle B is equal to angle Q okay so this is uh, examples based on trigonometric ratios and relation between trigonometric ratios okay now we will take next point in next video that is a uh, trigonometric ratios of some specific angles that is a values of 0 degree 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree and 90 degree okay for trigonometric ratios